Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Mechanic series. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys the long-awaited flip reset tutorial. Now I feel like every new player who's getting into the game wants to learn this mechanic, so today I'm listening to the voice of the people and I'm going to attempt to teach you all how to flip reset. Now I'm not going to make any promises because I know there's a lot of golds and plats in the audience, but if you do watch this video all the way through, I'm pretty confident you'll at least know how to get started with learning the flip reset. Before I get into this though, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for 20k subs. The support's been incredible recently, and I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody who's been liking my videos, subscribing, commenting, and helping me get these guides out to more people. One last thing I want to say that I'm sure the loyal subs will be proud to hear is that we are up 1% this month, and now currently 3% of the people watching my videos are subscribed to the channel. But in all seriousness, if you're currently watching and are not subscribed, please consider subbing if you like this video. It's completely free and you can always unsub whenever you want. Anyways, without any further wait, let's talk about how to flip reset in Rocket League. All right, just a fair warning guys, I know I said this in my air dribble guide as well, but when it comes to flip resets especially, these are not just the type of mechanic that you can decide you wanna learn and get it right away. Now I apologize in advance to all of my gold rank subs, I love you guys, but the truth is flip resets do require a pretty high level of car control. So before you get started trying to flip reset, you have to make sure you have your aerial car control in check. Otherwise, you're just going to be flopping around in the air and it's going to take a miracle for you to actually get a reset. So be honest, if that sounds like you and you need to work on your aerial car control, my number one drill for learning this is just doing a map called Lethemir's Rings. Now for those of you who don't know, this is a workshop map that's exclusive to PC players, so I apologize to all of you on console, but I still like recommending this drill because it's just that good. Another one of my new favorites recently is a similar workshop map called Rings 3 by a guy named DMC. You might have seen me flying around on this map in one of my recent settings guides, but I think this map is really really good because it's a little bit shorter and it has a bunch of different rings and tracks to fly around that make this type of training a whole lot more enjoyable than just plain old free play. One last warning I want to give before we get started is about settings specifically related to directional air roll. Now from what I can tell so far in my training, being able to tornado spin helps a lot with positioning your car for flip resets. So if you currently do not have an air roll left or air roll right bound to any buttons, I highly suggest you go check out one of my recent settings videos where I talk more about that. Anyways though, if you're gonna watch this straight through, that's totally fine. Now let's get into the actual mechanic and talk about the flip reset. Okay, like with all my other mechanics guides, I'm going to try to break down the flip reset into parts so it's a little easier to grasp and start learning. In my opinion, there are three major steps to the flip reset. First, you have the setup. Second, you have the actual reset. And third, you have the flip or the dodge at the end. Now I know this might sound strange, but we're actually going to start by training step two first. And I promise this will make sense, so stay with me. Step two is of course the reset, and the reason I think it's best to train this first is because the reset part is actually harder than the setup part. So if you can get the reset down, you'll be able to learn the entire mechanic much quicker. All right, when it comes to training the reset piece of the flip, I actually like a drill that Scrub Killer recommended in his flip reset tutorial. Now this is actually a pack that I recommend to a lot of people on my Patreon who I'm coaching to improve their aerials, but it's actually a training pack called Aerial Car Control, and the reason I recommend this pack even for flip resets is because it sets the ball up for you so you don't have to worry about tracking the ball and you can focus entirely on controlling your car during the reset. Since we're trying to learn a flip reset here, the goal really isn't to score the ball, it's to focus on getting the reset down. Now, I'm not going to lie, a big piece of this mechanic comes down to trial and error, but the motion I want you to try to emulate when you're going for a flip reset is the sort of slapping motion with your car. Now to break it down a little more technically, what you want to do is you want to be flying at the ball 
upside down, and then right as you're nearing the ball, you wanna pull down your joystick so that ideally all four wheels of your car slap into the ball and you get a dodge reset. By now you can probably start to understand why I was stressing the importance of aerial car control earlier on, because if you can't control your car midair, it's going to be real tough to actually pull this off. Like I said though guys, this is definitely going to take time, and so when you're practicing this and inevitably making mistakes, really try to focus on why exactly you're messing up. Are you only hitting the ball with the top wheels on your car? Maybe you're only grazing the ball with your bottom wheels? Whatever it is, try to remember the reason the flip reset actually works. You're trying to trick the game into thinking your car just landed, so the game gets you a jump which means you have to have some speed so you can actually grab the ball with all four wheels, otherwise you're not gonna get a reset. Once you start to get this down, try to switch between different shots in the pack and start forcing yourself to try different angles with your shots. Once you can get the reset the majority of the time, then you're ready to move on to the real thing off the wall. Okay, moving on from just training the reset, now we are going to start to actually incorporate the setup. So for this, I'm going to recommend the same pack I did in my air dribble video. For those of you who don't know, this one is called Wall to Air Dribble, and I'll have my editor throw the code up on screen now as well. Now this pack is super simple, but it does its job well. So now let's talk about tips with the setup. With a flip reset setup, you're going to want to do a lot of the same things that you do in an air dribble setup. So just like with an air dribble, when you're making your first touch on the wall, you should be aiming to hit the ball in a line to the opposite top corner. When it comes to when you should jump off the wall, I like to jump almost right after I hit the ball because this way you'll stay close and you won't have to waste too much boost catching up to the ball. Now that being said, this is kind of where air dribbles and flip resets differ, because with an air dribble you want to stay super close to the ball, whereas with a flip reset, it's not bad to have a little bit of space after you hit it off the wall. Just like with the previous step though, this is definitely going to take some time, so make sure you get into training and try this out yourself. Also, when you're doing the setup and transitioning into the reset, I want you to be thinking about the things I mentioned earlier when we are just on Kevpert's aerial car control pack, because you should be trying to replicate that exact same reset motion here. Think set the ball up, boost to catch up to it, and then at the last second let go of boost and pull down on your joystick to slap the ball and get the reset. Okay, if you got it all down from here, there's only one step left, and that is of course the flip. Now this is the part of the mechanic where things really get fun, and I encourage you to get creative with how you use your flip. That being said, if you're just getting started with this mechanic, it probably wouldn't hurt to just front flip into the ball right after you get the reset to try to hit it, but as you get more and more comfortable with this process, you can start experimenting with different directional dodges, you can try holding your reset for longer, and you can really start to get creative by mixing in other mechanics. Now I'm not gonna lie guys, this step is just as hard as the previous ones, and the only way to really understand how your car moves in the air is to move your car in the air. So make sure you get into training, practice this stuff out yourself, and really start to learn as you train. One last thing I want to stress though guys, is the reason flip resets are such a powerful mechanic, and that is because they're so unpredictable. Nani? Remember, you have all the time in the world once you get that reset, so make sure to hold on to your flip and only use it at the last second to send the ball over the defender. Whatever you end up doing with this mechanic though guys, I hope my guide helped you start strong with the fundamentals of the flip reset. Now, even though I went over the basics of a flip reset, I want to say one more time that that doesn't mean learning this mechanic is going to be easy. There are always ways to get better in this game, and with this mechanic especially, there are an endless amount of different things you can add on. Just like with anything else, this mechanic is definitely going to take some time to learn, so don't feel discouraged if you don't get it right away. With mechanics like these, I want you guys to have patience and don't expect to get it all in one day, because honestly, that's just not realistic. In my opinion, playing 20 minutes a day for a week will help you progress much further than mindlessly grinding in a 2 hour long session. So really when you're trying to learn this mechanic, train smarter, not harder. 
Make sure you focus when you're training, keep all these tips in the front of your mind, and I promise if you stick to the guidelines I gave in this video, you will get this mechanic in the end. Anyways though guys, that is about all from me. But before the video ends, if you're new to the channel and don't know about the monthly giveaway I do, then this is the part of the video where I'll talk more about that. Basically, at the end of every month, I pick a random commenter on my videos to be coached to GC by me. Now normally I only coach my Patreon members, but if your comment gets picked, I'll coach you until you hit Grand Champion rank in Rocket League completely free of charge. So if you want to enter for a chance to win that, all you have to do is leave a like and comment below with your rank in Rocket League. Anyways though guys, that's all I've got, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Thank you.